Colonel's popping in the kettle, popping the cap off an ice-cold orange knee-high. You can almost hear the five and dime screen door swinging shut. But the door isn't at the five and dime, mom and pops, or any corner drugstore. The familiar sounds, colorful sights, and enticing smells may be reminiscent of the 60s, 50s, heck, even the 40s. But in fact, it's still 2008. And here we find ourselves at a little shop that may have just opened its doors in 2006, but you sure could have fooled me. The only doors the Fonder and Beverage Emporium open are the doors to your childhood. I kind of reached back to a lot of stores I used to go to when I was a kid. Drug stores and uh, five and dimes, we called them. We walked by uh, the window and saw all the candy and sodas. It reminded me when I was young and used to you know, walk down to the uh, corner store in upstate New York and, and buy candy, and buy the bag full for like 50 cents, you know. No matter what decade you grew up, there's some candy or drink from your childhood, whether that's a Jones soda or dad's root beer, fun dip or Clark's gum. But don't expect to have the same experience as those from other generations, or even your own. The, the little fireballs and, and the little penny candies that he has is kind of nice. And then just the variety of sodas, you know, it's just, it just kind of takes you back a little bit. Going into a little dime store with all the different kind of little candies, you know, definitely brings back a lot of fond memories. The owner is really friendly and he's got like a million different kind of sodas and candies and it's just a nice place to kind of hang out. Matthew Bowden didn't start out as an old fashioned soda shop owner. He didn't work in a room filled with bright colors and a train whizzing about overhead. He was in healthcare, a pretty big change. But was it a change for the better? There's no question. I mean, how could you not be happy selling soda pop and candy to, you know, five and 10 year olds? A lot of people really feel like a kid. Kids feel even more like kids when they walk in the door. I've got five children in all ages, love it. And what do the kids have to say? Well, it's like old fashioned, it's pretty. There's a lot of stuff here. Because it's so good. Oh, and There's my friends, like, whenever I'm at school and I take these for snacks, they're always like, can I have one, can I have one? Because they really like the, play the candy here. So is it the candy or the drinks? Hmm, that's a hard one. Probably get candy. Um, the really big jawbreakers. The candy. <laughs> that's hard. I'd say candy. Because you, because um, the candy has more in, and, and, and sugar, and you That's can have sugar. it longer because the drink it just goes by. Right. Yeah. And to think, Matthew almost didn't have candy. The, what inspired me originally but was actually a trip when I was young down through Central America where they had lots of different drinks and they had really different flavors. You know, you get a tangerine soda or a grapefruit soda or different. Um, flavors that we didn't really have so much. It always kind of stayed in the back of my head uh, to uh, maybe open a store that sold lots of different drinks. And on January 16th, 2006, his vision became a brightly colored reality. Coolers of off the wall drinks, and of course candy. But don't come looking for adult beverages. This is a strictly PG store. You know, a nice wholesome place for the kids to come over. I don't sell any alcohol, I don't sell any tobacco, and which I do have folks stopping in looking for both because they see the beverage emporium and they think I must be selling all kinds of beverages, and I do, but not those. And uh, this building is actually owned by the Methodist Church down the block, and I can't sell alcohol, uh, but uh, I wouldn't have any way. There's plenty of places that sell different kinds of alcohol, and I wanted to sell different kinds of soda pop. And there are lots of kinds of soda pop, from rhubarb to kumquat, lemongrass, blueberry cream soda, cherry ginger beer, celery, you name it. There are probably uh, about 300 different drinks. I don't keep a precise count because it honestly changes almost day to day. They come from really all over. I mean, I have a lot of drinks that come from out west. Uh, a lot of my products come from California, some from up North Carolina. The finding and getting these products sometimes is a real challenge. It hasn't been easy. There was a lot of work put into opening the store. I built everything in the store. I had help. Brother and I built the bar. 
Uh, people are always amazed by the bar top, uh, and it is, I think, a very cool looking bar top. It took uh, five of us two hours to lay the caps. I'm guessing there are around 4,000 caps. People say, did you drink all of these? No, they are new caps. They, they're factory fresh. The mural, my sister did the mural, my younger sister. Uh, we're gonna go to the ceiling with a space scene and maybe have asteroids and stuff. But it hasn't all been fun and games. In April, a tornado hit Jackson and the Beverage Emporium. Now we had a uh, six-year-old birthday party going on in the back room. And then the weather uh, warning came on the radio. Uh, and so uh, we, uh, uh, the doors started flying open from the wind. Uh, and uh, when, the, when we started hearing that when the doors started flying open, we got the kids in the back and got them around by the bathroom where there wasn't any windows. Uh, and uh, then, the, uh, then the tornado hit and pressure changed and blew out my north windows, uh, or one, yeah, one whole side of my north window. I was hiding in the bottle room. So I sort of ventured out after that first uh, window blew out to see what was going on. And then I felt the pressure change again. The pressure dropped, felt my ears pop. Uh, and ran back toward the, toward the bottle room. And then this west window blew out. Uh, I watched it all from the door. It was awesome looking. It looked like a movie in here with the glass flying through there and water everywhere. And uh, it looked like a bomb had gone off. It was really, really startling. And the birthday boy simply turned to his friends and said, this is the best birthday ever. Well, I've thought about charging a cover charge sometimes. <laughs> but I do, uh, it, it is very gratifying. I would say eight out of 10 people smile when they walk in the door. And when they walk in the door to the Fondren Beverage Emporium, they always see Matthew. He's the owner, stocker, cashier, and even the bottle opener. I, I've had a number of people mention that. Uh, they walk in, you always here. Well, that's where I work, <laughs> you know? You might even say that Matthew has become part of the experience. Now, some people uh, call me the Emporium guy. <laughs> some kids think I'm Santa Claus. I have a lot of Santa moments. And, you know, where else would Santa work except in a candy store? That's where I do my off season. <laughs> For a copy of this program, call 601-432-6294 or send a check or money order for $14.95 to Mississippi Public Broadcasting, 3825 Ridgewood Road, Jackson, Mississippi, 39211. Please indicate the name and date of the program.